Welcome to season two of Food for Thought. I'm Katie Greenan here on the very eclectic 23rd Street in Crystal City. There's a fun karaoke bar, a 24-hour diner, and a very popular sports pub right on the block. But today we're featuring Tagolio, a pizzeria that uses a special ingredient to perfect its pies, coal. It has zero pollution and is cleaner than wood or gas. Let's head inside. Gio, tell us how Tagolio began. Tagolio started a long, long time ago when I was really, really young, even before I even moved in this country. I grew up in Nice, in the south of France, which is uh, literally, you know, minutes from the Italian border. And, uh, you know, two out of three restaurants in Nice are pizzerias, or Italian restaurants for that matter. I always thought that, you know, if I ever, if I, if I was going to open a restaurant in my life, it would be a pizzeria and trattoria. I mean, this is the food that uh, I've always loved. and. Uh, you know, the food that I was uh, dreamed of being able to, to share with others. How did you come up with the name Tagolio? When I was young, one of the pizzerias that I worked at, uh, I met a gentleman named Giuseppe Tagolio, who was the, the oh. master pizzaiolo, basically, in that restaurant. And, uh, you know, he, he, uh, really, he's the guy that really uh, uh, made me discover the, the love of pizza and, and what, what pizza was all about, and he taught me how to make it. When I opened this place, I decided to uh, dedicate you know, the name to, to, uh, to his legacy. The feedback has got to be good. What do the people say who come here? It's been great. Uh, it's been uh, above expectations in terms of, uh, of, of things that have turned out, uh, in terms of how people have enjoyed coming to this place. And uh, you know, we really set out to, uh, to have a neighborhood restaurant in this, in this wonderful Crystal City area. And uh, it turned out to be just that. The neighbors, the people that, that have supported us from day one, they continue to say to us that you know, they love the food, they love the atmosphere, they love the service. We, we emphasize on the entire experience. We emphasize not just on what you eat, but you know, how it's brought to you, the smile that comes with it. It's the whole experience that counts. There's a lot more than people want besides the food. They, they, want, they want friendliness. They want, uh, they want a place where they, they, they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. so, that's what we try to accomplish, to have a, whole, a total package. Let's talk about the coal burning oven. Why coal? Well, about 20 years ago, somebody took me to a place in New Haven, Connecticut that still exists uh, called Frank Pepe's Tomato Pie. They don't, they don't call it pizzeria, they call it Tomato Pie. And that's the first time I ever heard or even seen a coal-fired oven. The pie that came out of that oven was unbelievable. I was totally blown away by it. There was a particularity about this particular pie, the way it was charred, the nuttiness of the taste. Uh, the, the crispy dough on the outside and the, 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 the airy and dewy inside. I mean, the, everything was perfect. I just fell in love with it. There is no coal-fired pizzeria in the Washington area, so I thought, you know, I might uh, uh, stick out of the pack here by, by bringing something different. How about we meet your head chef, Daniele, and see what he's doing in the kitchen? Okay, I'm sure he's ready for you. There's the great stuff to cook, and uh, bon appetito. When you enter Togolio, you come right to the pizza kitchen, and I'm here with head chef Daniele. So how many pizzas do you have on the menu? I have like uh, 14, 15. Today I'm going to show us a uh, Pugliese pizza. Show us how it's done. Is there a secret to your dough? Yes. Not going to tell? <laughs> Marinate tomato, marinara, fresh garlic. Oh, you can smell that. Oregano siciliano. Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, oregano, garlic, good olive oil. Gold, olive oil. How did you okay. start cooking? I um, started cooking when I was young, eight, nine years old. I would uh, do pies for the school, for the teacher. Make every week I would make apple pie for the teachers. Nice. Yeah. Burrata, is that cheese creamier than mozzarella? What you see on the pizza, it's inside that bowl. Yeah, it looks just like. So we wrap it up. Mozzarella. It's cutting it right in the middle. Just take a bite. Oh, very nice. You see what's inside? Mmm. Delicious. This is what's on the pizza right now. Delicious. But you know, when you pair that with some roasted peppers, tomatoes, uh, prosciutto, mm -hmm. any good salami, some good bread, I mean, and of course a good glass of wine. And you see how the cheese just melts on top of the pizza and it spreads out there. And an anchovy on top. You put all of this on at the end, like the cheese, yes. or else it'll burn. Mmm. How's the pizza? How's the pizza? Mm. Very good. And the anchovy, which I don't eat usually, makes a nice flavoring on it. And this is how it should be with olive oil all over your hand. Okay, so when you see this contraption right here, you know what's next, right? What's next? Gnocchi. What's the key? What should they be looking for 
how do they know it's a good gnocchi? A good gnocchi really is a light gnocchi, is a little little puff of cloud mm -hmm. that you know is not heavy on, on your palate that you right. can you know chew and swallow and, and what it makes you know is really a, a you know light as air gnocchi, it's just, yeah. just a wonderful flavor. Nice and fluffy little pillows. And the Parmesan, doesn't it add like a saltier, nuttier? Yeah. Yes, it gave, gave you more tasting, yeah. And then just a little bit of nutmeg. Oh, that's a little secret ingredient right there. Is that it? So you really manhandle that, right? You don't have to be delicate at all. No. <laughs> so about half inch or so? Yeah. Next up, it's time to boil the gnocchi. All right, show us how it's done. All right. Boil for a couple minutes in the salt water. How do you know? Do they float when they're they done? Float it, yeah. Okay. I'm going to warm up the zucchini pesto, pine nuts, garlic, uh, basil, olive oil, extra virgin, and the skin, the zucchini. Oh, zucchini skin. Zucchini skin. Must be why it's so green. All right, those are done. Oh, those look so good. That looks absolutely delicious. Shredded parmesan cheese. That's a great way to top it off. And then the cheese just melts on it. Yeah, and fresh olive oil. Okay. All right. It literally burst in your mouth. The middle, it's so soft. Oh my God, that is the best gnocchi and pesto sauce I've ever had. One more and then we'll move on. I'm really happy right now. Okay, next you have uh, a seared sea scallops. It's going to be served with arugula pesto mashed potato. It's going to serve on top a gamberoni. What's that, lemon juice? It's a fish broth. Oh, fish broth. One for each scallop. Each scallop. Orange and mustard reduction. Grapes tomato marinated with garlic and basil. Garlic is essential, right? You use yeah. that in everything? Everything, yeah. It looks absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Tender. The mustard sauce is absolutely a great complement to the scallop. I need another bite just to make sure. It's good. Absolutely. Another A+. Plus. Make sure you get to know the most important person in the house, Daniele. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great. Thank I'm you. gonna take this with me. Whether you prefer the finer ingredients like burrata and prosciutto, or you wanna keep it simple, Degolio has something to fit your palate. For more information and a menu, visit us online at arlingtonva.tv. Stay with us, more delicious bites are just around the corner.